Hi friends, Doug Goodrich with Goodrich Aviation and Custom Aircraft Builders. And one of the things I wanna do with our YouTube channel is start to interview some of our builders that are building their, their sling or their vans um, here with us so you get to know them and kind of why they purchased the airplane and a little bit about their, their airplane, their story basically, because it is uh, pretty, uh, pretty interesting to get to know um, all these, uh, these guys uh, that are building planes with us. So um, with me is Matody Filipov, yep. and uh, you're from? I live in New York. I've lived in New York for 37 all years. But long I'm, Island I'm, area, yeah. yep. But I was born back in Bulgaria a long, long time ago. Neat. <laughs> all right. And uh, uh, Matodi is our second airplane. So if you're familiar, been following us, uh, my airplane is done, completed, and uh, through uh, phase one in flying, and we're, we're loving it. Uh, that is my TSI. And so Matodi's is our second one coming through our shop. And it is, um, it's just about done. It's uh, clearly through paint. Um, we're ready to run the engine. Um, we just bled the brakes for the, uh, the Behringer system that he has uh, today. So we're getting uh, very, very close to the uh, DAR inspection and, um, and then soon for the, uh, for the first flight. Yeah, so tell me why you chose a sling. Uh, it was a long story. Uh, back in 2019, I was in the market for a, a four-seater general aviation plane. I liked it. Uh, certified planes, but I had one requirement. It has to be a modern engine. I wanted as much as automation as I can get on a plane, and I don't have to worry about perfect combustion and doing it by hand. Uh, I tried pretty much every plane that's out there, the Technum, the Diamond, that has that element of the FADEX system. Uh, but they didn't meet the criteria, so I can fit uh, not for heavy adults, but four adults at a normal size in a plane and get some fuel to get some distance on it. And none of the certified planes met that criteria. And okay, what I can do is start looking at the engines that are FedEx engines and see if there's an airframe, airframe attached to that engine. Back into it, yeah. Yep. And that's how I found Sling. Mm -hmm. And fast forward, we are here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And you've been to South Africa. You went there yes, and, uh, and visited? Yes, I, I, I did during COVID uh, because I ordered a plane sight and scene. Yeah. Uh, that convinced me that so we can do it together. I, I'll help you build it. And it was a great choice. So I flew it out in South Africa for the first time. Uh, yeah, and you were out there when Linda was building, right? Yes. Uh, that to was, be around the high wings when they were in the It was the same time Linda was building the, her first high wing there. Yeah. It was a great experience to see her as well and the build of the, the high wing. Yep, neat. Now, tell us about your airplane because it's got some uh, some unique things to it. You're, you're at least for me, you're the first person um, that wanted a 750. You were just, you were, you had to have a 750 in your panel. And yeah. uh, the guys at Midwest pushed back a little bit, but you guys worked out a, we worked it out a, that a compromise. They're, they're very helpful. Uh, they did all the, the stuff that's necessary to fit the requirement. Uh, I don't like small screens. I, <laughs> I'm a basic person, so I need big screens and everything dedicated. So that was the requirement for the 750. Not anything functionality-wise, just the usability. Yep. Uh, yeah, and so to make it all work, the key was to get rid of the a phase of flight controller for the Airmaster propeller. And Matodi's the first person that ever told me about the option for an empty propeller. Yeah. And that was really the, that, that uh, the key to, to, that unlocked the whole thing. That led to the conversation with empty propeller and the people, the great people at RS Systems. Yeah. And the minute they said what, they told me what they do, it says, okay, it doesn't matter what we're putting inside, this propeller goes in with that controller because that adds to the level of automation I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, the more stuff the control, computers can control, the better I feel. Yep. And you have lots of redundancy. Correct. Everything is literally three yeah. in, in this plane. Three alternators, three AHAR systems. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know how many, five, seven batteries. And everything has yeah. two batteries on it. Yeah. <laughs> Every yep. screen has three big screens. So yep, yep. yep. There's uh, there's plenty uh, plenty there. So. Um, yeah, we uh, and we also have Behringer brakes, yes, as we, I said before. We, we did the Behringer brakes because I've flown a bunch of flight sports and I like the the, the way they, they work. They're really great product. Uh, so we worked it out to install it on that plane. Uh, yeah. We came later to order them, but uh, yeah. I'm really happy with what we got at the end of the as a result. <laughs> 
yeah, we, 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 we don't have an airframe that's designed around the Behringer brake, so we had to do a lot of modifications. So that's um, he has the, um, the regulator, the pressure regulator in there, so we had to figure out how to mount that and just uh, mating of the, the, the different hoses and, and things there um, has been the, uh, uh, a little bit of a, of a challenge. And, uh, but it's, uh, we've gotten through it, so now they're, they're on and, uh, and bled and a little bit more work to, uh, uh, to go there. Um, and you have a, um, a sling interior, correct? Correct, yes, yep. I ordered my interior for true sling. And uh, yep. with orange stitches? Correct, that was a requirement, the stitching of the, the seat had to match the paint color. Yeah, and you can tell he likes orange. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the, the beautiful... Uh, yeah, everybody uh, makes fun of you. Yeah, that. the, the, the uh, orange paint. Yeah, your scheme has really grown on me. At first I was like, all right, you know, whatever. And uh, it's uh, it has really, really grown on me. I'm sure in the video you can't tell, but his his pinstripe there is a, um, uh, a navy blue metallic. And so until you really get it in the light and can, can, can see it, you don't really see the metallic. And and one of the big challenges of painting his airplane was when the original mask were ordered from Evoke, it had quarter inch. Uh, that pinstripe. was the wrong size of the And stripe. <laughs> so we, he wanted them larger so you could actually see the blue because you couldn't tell the, the blue from black when it had quarter inch. So they're half inch. So we had to figure out how to uh, to upsize that and straight all that. I almost and, forgot about that. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was a challenge. <laughs> we'll never forget about that. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a uh, that was a lot of work. So. Um, so you've got the MT propeller on the uh, on the yeah. uh, the front, um, and uh, we've we've got pretty much you know your standard hoses and things like that, um, um, and the uh, the nine fifteen. Um, yeah, the standard nine fifteen. Yep. Because at the time we ordered it, yeah, the, the nine sixteen wasn't available. It wasn't yep. available. Yep. So um, yeah, so that's uh, you know he's got um, he's got our Avio uh, overhead lights, which if you see. We've got black ones and silver ones in there. Um, it, it's just the black ones are back ordered for, for a, a bit now. And so we've just put some silver ones that we have here so we can get them up and flying. Um, so those are our multicolor um, overhead uh, lights there. And um, he's also got our, our, um, uh, our, our air control system Correct. with the, uh, um, the, the plumbing that comes right off of the radiator uh, down through the center for the, uh, the heat and then uh, the NAC vents on the side are just vents, and um, and then we're hoping uh, we've actually got them wired up for air conditioning in the uh, in the future. Should yep. I be able to get that system? We have the, the wiring ready for the air conditioning. We've got the four gauge wire already installed in the uh, the airframe, so if that all works out, we'll be able to uh, to go uh, with that. So get your um, uh, Midwest panel. Um, uh, the, your, your avionics panel. It's, it's uh, pretty standard. Dude, yeah, it's just, other than the 750. Yeah, and every, then you've everything got the else other, is standard. The other uh, um, kind of backup. Instead of a G5, he went with a different unit. Yeah, I found a small a, AI unit that is like two and a half inch. Yeah, just so a small it's just a, a visual AI, if anything else. Yep, yep. Just, just to have it, um, but there was uh, space uh, issues. Yeah, there was uh, a space with a, with a full G5. The whole Yep. Uh, with the whole panel because the, uh, I didn't realize how small the panel on the <laughs> sling is compared to any other plane. Yeah. The RVs are slightly bigger. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's why you see a lot of those with rocker switches. Yeah, they have plenty of space toggles. blue switches and everything else. We had to deal with a lot of space constraints. Yep. Aspect. Yep. All right. So that's uh, that's Matodi and his uh, sling TSI. Uh, hopefully we'll have some video here soon of his first flight and uh, phase one. It's going to be uh, a lot of fun to get both slings up there flying next to each other and uh, getting some uh, some air to air. You know, it's um, it's early February here in New York and it's still, even though we've had a streak of really lousy weather and then some really beautiful weather, it's almost 50 degrees out today. Um, but, uh, you know, it's been tough to get some good aerial shots of my airplane and stuff so we, we hope as the weather starts to turn here in spring we can get more and more and uh, be, be flying around to uh together uh soon so all right well thanks for uh for watching i uh, appreciate it if you'd uh click uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next video thanks Matodi. thank you